Hi everyone, I'm Laura. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to bring in the Archangels and we're going to do a check-in on this sexual energy that's been happening for Twin Flames. <laughs> we get blasts of sexual light codes very pretty often, I would say, on this journey. So we're going to speak on it today instead of keeping it in the shadows because most people don't like to talk about the insane amount of sexual energy that's between twin flames and it's between you even in the energy realms. It's between you telepathically, it's between you and the energy. I feel you turn each other on and it's very much a part of this journey because I, I feel I share this on Twitter this week. The sexual energy between twin flames is more powerful, more exciting, more arousing when you are even separate from each other than having actual sex with somebody else. And a lot of us, we choose to be celibate on this journey, but for those who are in karmic connections or your counterparts in a karmic connection, they are not satisfied sexually with their karmic person. Activated earth. This is the energy that we're anchoring into the earth. <laughs> so you come into the crystal grid, a lot of you, who uh, you're meant to bring in this particular type of energy and anchor it down into the earth. So when twin flames are together, yes, there's a spiritual energy between them. There's also a sexual energy between them because you hit every single chakra. And it is actually not true that you have a twin flame that is just a friend that's platonic because that's a twin ray. That's someone that's in your same similar oversoul, but that is not a twin flame. A twin flame shares every single chakra is complementing each other. So yes, you're gonna be lovers in this lifetime. Yes, you're gonna be sexually attracted to each other in this lifetime. And that is part of it. And that is why people are so still very confused. And I have done readings for people who believe that they're twin flames, but they are just friends. And I am not gonna talk you out of that. If you believe that and that is your truth, then that is your truth. But I find that the true twin flames that are here to spread this type of light into the earth will have a sexual bond between them, will have something between them that is undeniably strong. Okay, let's see what else we get. Big picture thinking, the visionary. So this is your third eye, very active. I feel like with this portal here that we're in, we're coming up into the resurrection energy of Easter and the true beginning of the new year before they mess with the calendar. And this is what <laughs> is gonna start to be you're basically getting what I what I've what I'm hearing to tell you is that when you are being activated sexually by your twin, they are thinking about you. They are fantasizing about you. They are likely maybe also self-pleasuring themselves thinking about you. That's why a lot of twin flames, you will be turned on at the same exact time, even if you are drastically far apart from each other, or whatever. That's because that's part of the connection that you share that's energetic above all else. You don't have to actually be close to each other because you're in the energy realms, in the subtle energy realms, you're extremely connected. And a lot of times separation is for this exact purpose so that you anchor this you start to get the codes of being able to feel into subtle energy realms very easily. So that's part of why you have to develop your sixth sense of, of reading energy, feeling energy, knowing what it feels like when you're getting a telepathic message or download. So this has to be very extremely developed for Twin Flames um, before you come into union because we're looking at this big picture here, Pleiadian energy of the unity consciousness that's coming into the earth. And we know that we're gonna have roles to play, Page of Cups. We know it's not gonna stay like this forever, where it's kind of like as a page now here, your connection is not quite in the realms where it needs to be because these realms are what's up here. See, he's looking up here, the emperor's on the bottom of the deck. The emperor is still a bit st st stubborn and the stubborn emperor kind of doesn't want to go up here into this realm. This realm is coming down. There's nothing stopping it. So 
The emperor has to walk away. I'm getting walking away from a group or community, three of pentacles. It feels like the emperor here is, they're really actually much more comfortable when they're fantasizing in the higher dimensions here, when they're in this fantasy energy of what could be, of what they could accomplish, of what they could be feeling at all times. So you're likely picking up on when they're by themselves fantasizing or getting excited about you. The Divine Feminine is picking up on this. Let's pick do some cards for Divine Feminines. It's like both of you feel like you are Two of Cups, Four of Cups. Yeah, because the Divine Feminine can feel the energy so strongly of the Union Codes. Your Union is like it's right here, it's right on top of you, but you can't see it. So the Four of Cups is, is like saying, I feel it, I know it's here, but uh, I can feel this coming in, but I don't see it. She's looking around, she doesn't actually see it materialize. And that's exactly the point of this energy is because you're supposed to build the muscle of faith and trust that when you get zapped, because what happens is ooh, the sun is on the bottom of the deck. When you get zapped feminine and you, it's like an internal tower moment where you feel in your body a tingle, uh, an energy. Um, you may actually really get as intense codes as feeling like your twin is actually physically having sex with you when they're not actually present. Um, it could be an, a range. It's usually all or one of the above of all of these things. You're feeling it. And that's because without actually seeing it, but you know that, and that's the energy that's meant for you to believe in the most because we're not trusting our five senses any longer. We're upgrading. We're upgrading completely in our vessels to know and trust that the higher light codes are the real true energy and that's what we're bringing in. So we're all becoming telepathic in this way where we believe in what we're feeling over anything else. Cups are emotion here. Okay, and with this walking away from community, but, okay, the emperor's walking away. Let's see, let me see what else they have to say about it. The other day the emperor or the masculine was walking away from the karmic. Okay, the moon is in reverse here because the, uh, the veil has been lifted on the community. This in upright, the moon is about illusions. It's about mysteries. It's about secrets. So basically what I'm getting for the masculine is that the universe is, is pulling all their secrets out to the surface so that they're fully exposed here. And it's like someone, I'm just seeing someone walking out naked in front of an audience at like people who have dreams like this where they're standing in front of you naked. Um, but that's actually the real life feeling here of the masculine. The secret is that they are in this union with someone that's very um, much more who they are, the wheel, the devil. Okay, it's because their shadow side now does not feel so scary to them. I feel like the masculines have really overcome a lot here where they used to be really embarrassed by certain aspects of themselves. They've actually really learned to love these aspects of themselves. This energy is really amazing. I love this uh, message because it's saying that the time of the, uh, the 3D where they were really feeling uh, like they couldn't be their, their real self. Like if they had too much, okay, this is what I'm getting. If they had too much lust, if they had too much um, kind of overly sexual energy, these masculines, it's now being channeled into this connection. They're channeling all of their sexual energy into whatever it is that they're feeling about the twin flame connection. Because the activation with the twin flame, if you've been activated as a twin flame, you know what I'm talking about. It's like you're going to continue to fantasize about this for the rest of your life if you don't make a move and do something about it and make it really real for yourself and start to see what's, un what's underneath all this. Where could this really go? Because the twin flame connection can feel like a fling. It can feel like an affair. It can feel like hot and dirty. And uh, because it's so overly sexual, it's like body heat. It's like nine and a half weeks. 
I'm making really old references. It's like Fifty Shades of Grey. That's the energy of twin flames when you come together. So you can very easily mistake that as devil energy because, you know, I was sneaking around with my twin in hotels and that's the kind of energy because we had to, you, we had to get it to, like we had to do it. And so we were going to do it wherever and it was going to happen. But, uh, I'm sure he loves that. I'm sharing that publicly on YouTube. Um, anyway, I feel like that's, I had to say that though, it's channeled because that's what I'm saying. The community here, if you're in some little squeaky community where you have some kind of reputation, you're going to embrace this reputation. If they think that you're a bad boy, if they think that if you've got some press, or if you've got some things out about you, masculine, that's saying things about you, you're going to start to embrace it. And it's like, let people think whatever they want to think about you because you know who you are and you know where you're always going to be welcomed home because this is you being welcomed home. Feminine is going to welcome you home. She doesn't see you, but she feels you. Okay, let me get a Priestess of the Light to leave you with. I feel like that was a, a big message. It's, it's like we just need to be validated that we're not fantasizing, that it's not lust. This energy is not lust. This energy is divine healing energy. This is what this is. And divine healing energy in a society that makes you feel dirty for being sexual is exactly what we need. Sacred sexuality will replace the old. Soul radiance, phoenix rising. This is you rising from the ashes Again, this is what I get all the time, earth magic, because it's about the magical energy that's created here. It's not shameful. It's about, you had to be leveled, both of you. It feels like a leveling here so that you could now start to anchor in and rise. Okay, because again, it's really more about the rising. It's really more about rising up, rising up. To this this is kind of a match here energetically of the same similar blue radiant pleiadian light pleiadians are very sexually free and have no judgment whatsoever there's no judgment if you're a masculine you know we don't judge if masculines have been off with karmics even if you feminines have been off with karmics and you come back together there's no feeling here of we're going to sit down and talk about every little thing that has gone on with the moon in reverse. The moon in reverse is saying we, you know, divine feminines, no divine masculines have kept secrets, have wanted to be mysterious, have wanted to sneak around. Maybe they talk to a bunch of different girls. They have this covert narcissistic personality um, type because it's not really who they are, but it can read that way. You don't have to explain any of that to us masculines because we already know. <laughs> then we don't judge. We don't judge. Okay, I'm gonna get an archetype card. Telling me to pull an archetype card. Detective, okay. Someone is spying pretty heavily. I got this message recently too. I feel like there is, okay, I'm getting a message that the divine masculine is concerned that the, the feminine is gonna move on to someone else. And so they continue to spy. They continue to wanna be very close to you and make sure that you're not moving on too far from the connection. It's kind of possessive, I wanna say. <laughs> it's a little stalkery. Voyeurism. Okay, there's also a feeling of when you get these sexual codes that someone is looking at you <laughs> because they are, it's a uh, feeling like you, um, yeah, you feel very exposed here. I'm getting, there's someone who feels very exposed and then there's someone who's spying. So there's a sense of someone who's very open in their energy, like divine feminines tend to be very open and sharing a lot of what they're getting and having this uh, open vulnerable energy around them. Divine masculines are spying and I feel like what this is saying is as the masculines are spying, they are recognizing what their role is in this connection. 
Let me get one more about this. I see Avenger on the bottom of the deck, so that's what I mean, like having a sense of purpose from all the spying, whatever it is that they are looking at and seeing or feeling sexually, they know now more, oh, okay, this is my purpose here. Um, it's not rocket science. It's not like we need... It's not like we need the masculines to be... Okay, guide. Yeah. We don't need the masculines to come in and have a super huge role to play other than basically just joining the feminine to teach and guide others by being the highest version of you. Do you know what I'm getting? It's basically saying sex alone and having a creative um, connection that's very high vibrational sexually. And you can even be doing Tantra. This is not just physical sexual act. This could be Tantra breath work that you do together. That's how they actually, I've heard, were able to be, um, be able to have immaculate conceptions was simply through breath work and higher energy coming through. That's how people, gods and goddesses of old could bring in life. So it's all of this type of thing. This is the energy. This is the abundance that's coming as a result of leaning in. It's leaning in. You're going to be abundant and you're going to know your purpose and your uh, feeling of being a guide will come from leaning into all of these taboos, leaning into this, what once was devil energy. That's now your power, your superpower. We're all turning into the X-Men, having our superpowers come online. And I really feel the masculines here are playing with this power and they know uh, feminine. If you feel like your light is getting turned on and turned off, it's because the masculines are playing with this power and seeing if it's affecting you and seeing then maybe what you do, what you post. Uh, I don't know what they're looking at, but it's, it is in the energy. So this is all in the energy. Okay, and this is only gonna resonate for those of you who are true twin flames on a twin flame journey, because this type of uh, taboo kind of material can be wildly misinterpreted by anyone who is not a true twin flame. So if you believe this is not your journey and you're still watching this, you're gonna get a lot of karma. So just know that we are protected, the 144,000, we are protected on this journey, divinely protected, because it's very advanced what you're bringing in. Okay, okay. And I want to mention that I will never send you a DM for a reading. Those are fake accounts. They're scammers, they're imposters. Block and report any account that is not listed below in the description box. I only have three social media accounts. I have a Twitter, an Instagram, a TikTok. I will never DM you for a reading. You have to book through the Calendly link um, or email me and that's it. And I am usually like 72 hours behind on getting back to emails, but I will email you back um, if it's something that's, if you're a client and we have a, a question about the reading, I will get back to you. Um, okay, I feel like that was it that needed to come through today. So. With that, I'm sending you all much peace and light. Take care.